Hello YouTube. I'm Reese Bowers and I'm a day trader. This is going to be really awkward if a neighbor walks by and the chances are they're going to walk by. But I'm going to talk about a pretty big trade I took this week that went really south and I managed to recover it. So I took a 400 share position Friday morning on Shopify. I, 400 shares, it was a relatively big position. 400 shares that I got it at $130. It was about $50,000, $52,000 position. And it just, it got caught, it, it had good catalyst behind it. It got caught up, it got upgraded by, I think three different, um, it, got, it, got, it got upgraded and the market just starts selling off. And when you get caught up in a market sell off like that, everything's going to go down. And I was down Monday morning, $4,900. And I, I was just, it ruined my day. I bought it like it was down. And then I held on to it until Wednesday, Wednesday at close. Still didn't sell it because I was only break even at like $75 profit on it. But the main, the main thing is I didn't panic sell. And the only way you're gonna be able to avoid big losses like that, because I, I recovered it on Thursday at close on the big push up on the market, because market was down like two, 200 points, 300 points, and it pushed up, and I ended up closing with a $637 profit on it. And what I want to get from this is when you get caught off, caught up in a sell off like that, the only way to really avoid big losses is have the confidence behind what you're holding and really understand it. And the only way you're going to be able to get that confidence is time in the market. And that's about it. I traded DGAS today, closed $871, ended up being like $850 after commissions. But yeah. Thing I did wrong is I took way too big of a position and I, I feel comfortable with trading thirty thousand dollars and fifty two thousand dollars is like the top of the size positions I like to take and yeah I, I just wanted to recap on that because that was a, a big recovery and staying calm and collective was a big key also to not taking that big loss.